you know, obviously it's, it's great to get off uh, uh, to a 1-0 start. I thought we did a lot of things well uh, tonight, in particular the glass. I thought we were great on the glass. Did a good job of getting to the free throw line. I thought we played with good pace most of the night. I thought our defense was rock solid most of the night. Um, you know, obviously we've got some things that we got to improve upon. Uh, we didn't finish the game like we'd like to, but that was okay. A couple guys got baptized a little bit uh, tonight, and, and they'll learn from it. They care, and we'll watch the film. We'll clean that up a little bit. Um, obviously, we don't want to turn the ball over 15 times, so we'll take a look at those and figure out how we can clean that up a little bit. But all in all, the main thing is I loved our effort. I loved our energy. I loved our togetherness. And I thought until the last probably eight minutes of the game, we played with some toughness. Um, I thought we had a lot of soft plays there at the close. But uh, well, like I said, we'll, we'll clean that up. Um, we'll clean that up. We were a little bit tentative against the zone to start the game. And then I thought we got very aggressive, um, which was good. Um, we had made that adjustment you know, fairly well and did some good things there and, and uh, highlighted once again by the, uh, by the offensive glass. Uh, questions for the players? Is this kind of what you envision for yourself? Uh, what do you mean? Can you ask well, that again? I mean, Um, my job is to be aggressive and uh, do what I can and do what my team needs me to do. And uh, my teammates just put me in great situations to score the ball tonight. Do you have to be nervous at all, Ray, leading up to this? You know, since it's going to be, I guess, your first regular season game at home. Uh, no, it's, um, I'm kind of got used to it now a little bit. I mean, we got two regular season ga I mean, two um, games we played two already. So, I mean, kind of used to it now. Ray, do you part of your game get to the free throw line? How, how much do you actually actively think about that when you're playing out there? Uh, coach would say always be aggressive. So, like he said, just being aggressive and attacking the basket. And uh, when ain't nobody there, just getting all the way to the rim. And a lot of the emphasis going into the game was to keep those guys off the glass. You had 10 yourself, and you guys did a good job on the glass. So talk about what you guys were able to do tonight to, to neutralize them a little bit. Yeah, I thought uh, the bigs and the guards uh, collectively did a great job boxing out and, and getting rebounds that came off the rim. So, I mean, it was emphasized. You know, we knew we had to do, you know, uh, they had 17 offense rebounds the previous game before. So, we knew how athletic they were and how hard they go to the glass. So, you know, it was our job to get the boards. And I think as collective as, as a team with the guards and the bigs, we did a good job. And when they do that zone, it's probably mostly about you. How, how do you combat that or how, how do you assist to combat that? I mean, like we said, uh, in the beginning, it was kind of we, it was, it was, we kind of were tentative, you know. But I think after we attacked it, you know, we got the guards to, you know, get into the paint and, and start passing out, off passing out penetration. You know, I think uh, that worked for us, and that's how we, you know, started getting the flow of it. But um, I think we did a good job of, of kind of feeling it out and then finally making a good plays out of it. Technically, it's your second back-to-back, -back, or it's a back-to-back double-double for you, you know, two in a row, counting last year's game. Do you go in looking for that or for numbers or just looking to, uh, do you look for numbers? Like, I'm going to get this many rebounds, I'm going to get, you know, do you look for those things? Uh, honestly, yeah, rebounds. I actually, actually do. I actually, I mean, rebounds. I try, I try, you know, try to make sure. You know, I'm trying to get double digits every the game. And certain, certain situations, you know, not, not, they're going to come to you. And certain it's different games, you know, different matchups, stuff like that. It's going to be different every game. But oh yeah, absolutely. The mindset is to try to get double figures in rebounds every game. Ray, can you try to describe the difference in the way you just feel your body feels out there compared to the last time you played the game that counts? Uh, yeah, I'm a, a strength conditioning coach. Uh, the staff just did a great job with me in my year sitting out and just got me moving faster and being able to compete against guards in this uh, conference. And people are going to compete against this year. Nana, what has Ray added just offensively from an experience standpoint to this group? I mean, he's just, he's aggressive, you know, he, he attacks, to, he goes to the basket, you know, attacks the rim, and, and he helps all, all of us, you know, because when, once when he's attacking the basket, people have to, you know, come in, collapse the paint, and that's when, you know, he can dish it out for, you know, uh, op open three-point shooters, or dump it down to me, or dump it down to the bigs, and not just him, Tracy, Joe, they all do these things, and, you know, I mean, that's why they're, you know, very vital to our team. Ray, do you feel physically different now than you did when you were playing at Drake? I mean, do you, do you feel sharper physically? I mean, yeah, I'm like 30 pounds lighter, so, yeah. I mean, obviously. You lost a whole 
have anything else for the players? Okay, we'll let them get going. Yeah. So much talk was about the nine new guys and all that, but the veterans really stepped up tonight and, and kind of carried the load for you. Can you talk about those guys' effort? Yeah, no question. I, you know, I think for us to play consistently, you know, especially here early as we've got some guys figuring it out, Marcus, and, and they'll figure it out. Um, our veterans have to be consistent, and I thought. It's interesting. I thought they practiced that way the last two days, and then they played that way tonight. You know, obviously when you talk about – Iki didn't shoot the ball as well as he had been shooting the ball, but you know, I'll live with that any day of the week. He's too good a shooter. So, uh, But he did some good things for us tonight. Uh, Joe, I thought, was really good. Ray did some good things. Nana did some good things. Tracy did some good things. Latulip did some good things off the, off the bench for us. Those guys did a great job tonight collectively as, as, as a group. But it's going to take all 11 of us. I've been saying that for a long time now, as I, especially after the summer as I sized up our team. You know, tonight we played all 11 guys, and we played them all in the first half. And uh, those guys made contributions uh, tonight. I thought everybody made at least, like I said in the locker room after the game, a play or two or more. Uh, to help us win, and it's going to take that mindset of by committee, I think, for this team ultimately to reach its potential this year. Coach, lots of uh, unselfish play, lots of extra passes, lots of extra effort, loose ball, stuff like that. Is that kind of the thing you're talking about? Yeah, I just I liked our, you know, I just liked the way about us that we that we had tonight. I thought our energy, our motor, our preparation today, and shoot around. I just I could tell, I could look in their eyes and see that they had it today. You know, we've got to have it every day. We've got to be more consistent. Um, you know, it's very important that we have that mindset, that energy about us, the positive. You know, I use the example of Tigger and Eeyore a lot. You know, last night my son and I were playing a game, Disney game, where you put Mickey ears on your head and you put a card, and I can't tell who the character is, and I have to ask questions as to who the character is. You know, I was able to get Simba, and then, um, and then the next character – was um, uh, oh geez that, that candlestick um, yeah yeah and I got that one uh, but then the third one I couldn't get it the hourglass went bad on me was Eeyore so I told the guys that story it's because I don't do Eeyores I don't know Eeyores I don't I don't associate with Eeyores I don't I don't I just I have no connection there so I didn't think we had any Eeyores tonight I thought we had a lot of Tiggers tonight and I thought our energy level was really good uh, once uh, Ray and Joe start attacking and get, get to the basket a little bit, does it get a little bit contagious with your team when the rest of the guys see that, you know, hey, we can make things I think so, well? Mark. I mean, I, I thought that Tracy got in there. I thought Tate made some plays, too, that did not end up in assist where we missed shots in the first half that can come to mind right now where he got in the paint, made the right read through a perfect pass, and we just missed. You know, he could have very easily, I don't know how many he ended up having, what do he have tonight? He was two to zero. I mean, he could have been like four or five to zero. I mean, he threw some great passes. We just happened to miss a couple, you know. But I thought he got in the lane. I thought Abrams got in the lane. Bertrand got in the lane. Rice got in the lane. I thought those guys made some good plays for us. And, um, you know, I thought we were unselfish for the most part. You know, I, I do. So that, that's a good thing. You know, right over half our field goals were assisted, and we're still able to get to the foul line and be active on the glass. We had just a real good energy uh, about us tonight. Now, we certainly didn't play perfect. We dinged some stuff up. I, like I said at the outset here, I didn't like the way that we finished the game. we got to finish the game better than we did. Uh, but we'll take a look at it and, and uh, find a way to improve. Obviously, it's about the, the team offense. But Ray, does he just have like a killer instinct uh, about getting to the basket? That um, I just want him aggressive. There were a couple times tonight, I mean, I didn't think he was as aggressive as he needed to be, even though you look at the stat line and, you know, I, you know, he said to me the one time there in front of the bench, I thought he caught it straight leg, leg. you know, I, want, I want, him to, uh, want him to be aggressive. You know, I think he's at his best when he's aggressive and he catches the ball in a stance and, you know, Ray's, Ray's one of those guys that really wants to be unselfish and if I don't stay on him about being aggressive, sometimes I think he thinks that means just kind of giving it up without ever looking at, you know, I, I want him to be aggressive. You know, that's his role. Was Kendrick playing the one tonight? No, Kendrick played uh, straight two tonight, Rob. And can you talk about the Jalen's, when Jalen was on the floor twice, he had great plays where he was the lead on the fast break. Both times he turned around and looked for his trailer. Uh, is this is it something that you want him to do? Should he look for the layup? Is he judging his defender? Well, I think part of it, Jalen plays by instinct. You know, Jalen's got great vision and um, really has good pace to his game. So, you know, tonight he finished 
two to zero and you know like I said I thought he had several other good passes that could have resulted in baskets that would have been assist as well I mean I love the pace he played at tonight I thought he did some good things for us and I thought he made our team better challenge and such a quick turnaround and is that going to be maybe beneficial down the road, just kind of getting that control? Yeah, I mean, you hope so. Um, you know, obviously maturity, probably, Shannon, is the biggest challenge. you got to be mature. You know, you've got to be able to learn and move. You know, we'll take a look at the film at the, at the um, beginning of practice tomorrow. It'll be about a 30-minute film session, and at that point, we've got to learn from that. We've got to move on, and we've got to prepare for Jacksonville State because it's going to be here in a hurry. And... Um, you know, I expect our veterans and certainly our captains to, to lead us in that charge tomorrow. John, you should have four for 20 from three. Is, is that a concern for you in three-point shooting? Yeah, I mean, I thought we had really good looks. I mean, I thought John had great looks. We had some really good looks early. And maybe when we missed some of those, that was part of us being a little bit tentative. But I, I don't think we took out to take it, but, you know, maybe a couple that were rushed or – but most of them were pretty good, and you know we just got to work to, you know, knock a few more of them in. Coach, this was the second time that the crowd participated in the Orange Hush to start the season opener. Do you think that adds a boost of energy to really start the season in the game? For the well, I thought it did for sure. You know, obviously it's very noticeable when you get to that tenth point or beyond, and the place explodes. You know, I thought that was, you know, really neat. Um, you know, I was, and when asked earlier about today, I think it's a great, you know, tribute to a great place that I went to school and, you know, certainly wouldn't be here without the experience I had at Taylor University. I mean, it's a great place and I have a lot of fond memories there. So, you know, more than anything, I think it's, uh, you know, really reminds me when, when I think of that, of, of that place, which, which is great memories for me. Concern you that everybody in C-section can hear every word you say for the first four minutes or so? Of the no, game? not really. Not really because my son's not close enough. <laughs> Sons aren't. You had guards looking at stat sheets last, last year, assist to turnover ratio. Mm -hmm. Is that a similar strategy? Well, we've got to take care of the ball. I, I, you know, we'll take a look at why we had you know, 15 turns. I, I will say three or four of them come to mind in the last two minutes where we got a little sloppy. We had a ball around the basket that we should have dunked. Guy strips it and takes it from us. Uh, we dribble the ball up full court. Guy tips it from behind. Um, through an errant pass, you know, late in the game, we got a little bit sloppy. So my guess is probably three or three or four of those were in the last couple minutes. And uh, that's certainly no excuse. I mean, we can't have – it's a 40-minute game every night you play. And – you know, we can't have – I don't like having 15. We've got to clean that up a little bit. So we'll take a look at all those uh, here here tonight. Jacksonville State similar, different than uh, – You know, those guys have talked about it, Tup. I mean, I, I'm one of those guys. I'm, I'm one game at a time. And, um, you know, I don't know a lot about them right now, but I will within the hour. John, you had an extra coach slash cheerleader named Caden on the bench tonight, and that had something to do with your – the construction of the disabled veterans. Could you talk about that ceremony today and the, the donation that you made? Yeah, I mean, I, um, you know, we've got a great um, – Dean Gallagher has come up with a, an unbelievable, um, you know, idea with our, you know, College of Applied Health Sciences with the Center for Wounded War Veterans. You know, for me, that's a, that's a special uh, cause because of my father fighting – uh, in Vietnam and my two grandparents being in World War II um, and the sacrifices that our military makes, you know, our armed forces, it's, you know, to do things like we did tonight, you know, so something that's near and dear to my wife and, and, and as well as, as well as myself um, and, and an effort to support that. It's a, it's phenomenal. We're looking forward. We've seen the plans for the building and, you know, we're, you know, tops in the country. And, and, and servicing from an educational perspective uh, those with disabilities and certainly a part of that is our wounded war veterans that sacrifice their lives and time with their families to go fight on our behalf and some of them come back and have disabilities and now we've got kind of a plan in place or a building that uh, and an institution that's committed to giving them the opportunity to to get a big time education so it's really a special deal and and uh, the University of Illinois has really made a you know heck of a heck of a commitment to that area so it's really neat to be a part of that you donated the team bench experience for the auction those yeah I don't want to get into get into all that all that but can you talk about Caden particularly because he might have been the most vocal guy oh sure he was at shoot around today he was right in the middle of the huddle 
Um, he was right there when we huddled up, and all the guys met him today, and it was great to, to have him and his uh, mother, Amanda, today at, at the shoot-around and, and tonight at the game. Anything else for Coach here? Okay. Thanks. Thanks.